you can see here once you get uh, there's a uh, Microsoft Visual Studio we have a variety of the program there we have the Visual C++ we have the Visual Fox Pro we have the Visual Inter uh, Development and we have Visual Modeler in this case you need to come and choose v Microsoft Visual Basic just click Microsoft Visual Basic uh, we have now the standard because now this Microsoft Visual Basic is all about programming and you need to work on how to program different uh, softwares and now you develop to become uh, one uh, software and uh, different uh, information in this case you need to come here you choose the standard extension that should be the basic for all this and now you click open once you click open now we have this one called a form you can just try to enlarge a little bit to the desired size uh, once you took uh, you took that uh, the desired size now you can come here uh, you can come here and now choose uh, this form and we have five types of windows we have types of five of windows and the first window is this one which is called object window this is the object window uh, once you come to another window called uh, cold window whereby you can just come here uh, you right click here then you click view code once you click view code this one uh, this one now is called a code window uh, just right click view code this is a code of uh, code window and you have this only called uh, an object window uh, we have another uh, window called a project explorer whereby this one reflect all the forms the number of forms that you have under that one project that means in this visual basic project you can create even 10 forms under one project then you convert them to become one simple software whereby can be having a compliance of different information for example if it's about the college you can have a admission form you can have a receipt you can have a phone book you can have uh, about uh, exams informations and you have the course of ad and you have about uh, employees among other information all those can be reflected under one software uh, which one can be which can be uh, the same project now with this uh, forms as you can see here we have now one form and as we continue we continue adding more forms in this one project uh, first I need to uh, to show you now this called a, a property window uh, this one is called a property window a property window will help you to give the name of a form the caption and you can do more a bit of formatting uh, for the uh, for your form uh, using a property window it means in this case uh, you can click here uh, and now we have form one whereby you can come you write uh, the prefix frm the prefix frm then you can put calculate uh, you can put a uh, calculate and now under caption you can come here you write uh, calculations in this case you need uh, in this case what is the most crucial to understand is that um, uh, the caption you don't you can put a space uh, and, don't, and you don't want you don't require to put a prefix I repeat uh, in the caption you don't put you can put a space but you don't need to put prefix while name you must put prefix and they no require of space it means you just put as one word a uh, prefix plus the now the name of the of the form of what you want to narrate all about uh, we have now the form layout window which helps you to represent what you are doing for example you can see frm calculate whereby is now the the, the the name of this form so it gives you the window uh, it will place where you can zoom out your page you can zoom in your page and now you see now the moment you zoom out you can see now it is bigger than the even the page when you once you come to back to the, to the normal for example that one 
Uh, now you see now you uh, bring back to normal you see that you can reflect a different size of the page for this uh, for example now once I click there now you can see this formal out window it is now inside my window those are the five main types of window we have the project we have the formal out window uh, we have the project window we have the property window we have the object window and once you right click in the object window you go to the code window those are the five main types of windows we are talking on microsoft visual basic as a one of the programming let's now go to this with the point we have all these tools now i need to start with the label once you put the label here you can just click and drag in your object window uh, once you click there in the object window you can now come here and you put lbl uh, as a prefix and now you can put for example num1 it means uh, in this case you can come here you write num1 uh, which will help you now you can put a space between there and now you can try to resize a little bit and now you can put a text box yeah draw that kind of a text box there once you do a text box use a text box then you can come here for the input you can just delete that information there it will be blank then here at the text you can come and put txt uh, num1 once you put num1 now you can come you draw another label like that one and you draw another one like this once you put like that one then you can draw their text boxes should be uh, uh, at least three of them uh, so that you can uh, at least have now the basic side of it that you have the the number of labels should be equal with the uh, can be equal with this number of uh, text box and now you can put L LBL uh, LBL you can put LBL there uh, and now you put num2 you can come here just write num2 uh, this can be the same you just delete and now come here you write txt num uh, and I'm two. And now you have this one. You can put uh, txt solution. And now you can come here down and you click here, right? Txt. You can just remove that one to be blank. And now you put solution. And here you can put lbl solution then you need to have a command button here this is a command button click there and draw your command button there give it a name here you can put cmd uh, calculate uh, cmd calculate and now you can come here and put uh, calculate here So once you click calculate here now, we have those command button there, and we have now the we have now the text box there, three of them with their own label there. As you can see, the project, and you have the the, the caption as for this one, and you have the label there. From there, you can just come here with this command button, just double click. Also double click you can come here you put now the dim statement as num1 as single uh, single represent uh, numbers which may have a decimal point while integer represent a number which uh, is a whole number string represent a text 
For example, full names is a text because the name of a person. That's how you put and you press enter. Uh, then you come here, we have num1 is equals variable, open bracket. Once you open the bracket like that, you can come and put txt num1 uh, dot text. Then you close the bracket. And in most cases, you put dot and you don't see anything appearing. That means there must be somewhere you made an error you should make sure you collect an error to avoid any problem when you are at the end of your content so that you make sure that you collect all the errors anyway you see the dot and you don't see anything know that there is a mistake solution will be now num1 plus num2 and you press enter you put txt solution dot text is equals solution and this is how simple you can add two numbers you, you develop a simple software to add two numbers in the journey of making for example a calculator so you can start by adding two numbers and you see how it works that's how you just put the information in this case, as you can see, this is the information what I have typed and the most relevant information for this. Between the private sub and the head sub, the information should be between them, but not outside the private sub and the head sub. should be between those two commands. Now, you can click start or you go to run and you click start. I can come now here, I put five. Here I put 7 and I click calculate here and the answer is 12 which is correct. I can just come here and put a very bigger number for example that one and now you can see it is 130. I, I put that one there and I click calculate. You can see my simple software is working for introduction of visual basic. I can change the sign for example. If I need to come here and change this sign to be a division, I try to type, but no, it is making that kind of a noise. It means you need to come here, you click add learn, then you change now the sign. Once you change the sign here, now it is this for division, then you can press a five to run, and now you can come and put the figure. You put another one, and you can see now it is zero point five zero. Uh, seven, and you can see that now the current number there because that four divided by six seven that is how it comes. But come, you put now another figure, for example, a bigger figure, and you can see now it is 84 point something. As I will end up getting programming of simple on that one, and you can keep you add the run first, then you change the sign for multiplication that is the asterisk represent multiplication, then you click run. And you can come and put 35 multiply by 35 you see the answer is 12 of 25 uh, 12 of 25 uh, you can change this one to be for example 100 1000 and you see it's 35,000 that's how you multiply those two numbers in a very simpler way and you can add learn and you change this sign to be now minus once you put minus you can see can still operate the same 34 minus 56 you can see the negative number and now you can also put 23 you can see the positive number that's how simple you can design a basic software with a microsoft visual basic in a very simpler way let me try another one which is a bit simpler also i can just come here and i close that one and i click project add form if you want to add another form just click add form uh, then you come here form and you click open once you click open now you can come here you will try to resize a little bit to have the page which is a bit bigger in size a little bit and now you can work with your form you can come here you put now the form 
format uh, we have now uh, have format uh, window uh, we have now the format window uh, format window there and now you can come here you put uh, the label you can put now the text box and you can have this called a frame you draw a frame like that one and now you can draw a command button out there that is a command button and now you click this one for the option button click that one Those are three option button and this is called checkbox. So you draw still three checkbox for that. You can try to put it like that one. Then now you give them names. This one you can come here, you put uh, details you can put details here you can put uh, LBL uh, LBL uh, details we have this one to be txt detail details txt details and you have now the reason here you can remove to be blank uh, then you come here to frame uh, you can put a uh, fra for frame is fra format and you can now you can come here you put font uh, colors uh, uh, font colors and style uh, font colors and styles and now with that one you can come here you put the option button for OPT red and now you can come here you put red as color you can come here you put uh, blue you put OPT blue do the same to the third one uh, green and this one you can put OPT uh, green once you are through with those three ones now you can come here you put this CHK bold and here you put bold remember checkbox we use a prefix chk and you put what you want for example italics that is the prefix for checkbox Once you put that uh, crucial information command button here, you can come here, you write uh, format now. You can click format now, and now here you write CMD for command button, and you put, uh, you can put now format. Once you put a garden format uh, now, or format, then you can come here you do the same we have this the command button just double click the command button and you come here now you put between the pri between the private sub between the private sub and net sub you just type at the center there you can put if opt if opt red dot value is equals true 
paste then txt details dot for color is equals visual basic red this is how you work on that repeat if opt brew dot value uh, is equals true uh, space then txt details dot for color is equals maybe brew repeat the same to green if opt green dot value is equals true space then txt uh, details dot for color equals vb green once we are doing that one now you can press enter a little bit and now you put uh, ch uh, chk bold uh, if chk bold dot value is equals you see we don't have true or false just put one space then uh, txt details dot font bold uh, is equals true or false you just put true so here comes true at the head uh, then now you come you do the same if chk italic dot value uh, is equals one space then txt details dot font italic is equals true then you come here put if uh, ch uh, k underline dot value is equals one space then txt details if you can see i'm typing but it's not bringing any information it's because of this simple error i have made here it means because here i have added e make the whole difference that's why it is not coming i just remove like that one and now once i put dot now you can see it is bringing some information there oh you make sure that uh, you are there to collect the errors when you type them immediately that's how you complete with that one in a very simpler way once we are doing this section now you can do the same click run click start one thing you notice it is giving me the previous uh, form i have typed for calculations but i need now the latest which is now frm formatter is the one i need but not frm calculator calculate so how can i bring this one out to be the current or the startup object it means i need to come here but it is inactive then i should click add run then i go to project project properties i came here for startup object i put uh, frm formatter then i click ok and here i come and i click run and i see now it is giving me the most latest for this as you can see here now you can put for example search uh, kenya and now you can click uh, red and i click format now and you can be formatted red I can put blue, I format blue. Can put green, I format green. Can put underline, you can see it's underlined. Italic has been italicized. You can see bold, it has been bolded. That is how simple you can work. Add the run, start again. And now you can put, for example, search 
computer college uh, in Nairobi, Kenya. Then you can highlight the content. Uh, once you, you can just say the highlight the content and now you can see red. Then you click format. Click blue. It's been formatted blue. Green there you can see. Uh, if you want blue, just click blue. Now you have italic as you can see. Underline. Been underlined. Uh, it has been bolded and underlined at the same time. That's how we totally work with that one. And you format in a very easier way. There are many types of formatting. Those are just styles and format colors. But on the program still we run how you can in increase the size, you can change the font. Those are still more learning about how you can do more formatting. In this case, those are just the basics part of it. Continue looking for more, uh, more tutorials for us and you get more knowledge about how to format in this program. It is very simple. As you can see, we have the, now the coding here. These are our main codings we have done there. And uh, private sub, between private sub and head sub, using command button format. In a very simpler way. Right? So we have worked for that one. And now we can see now we can add still another form whereby now you want to do a simple calculation using this program. For example, how to calculate sphere, how to add uh, to look for circumference of a circle, among others, uh, the trapezium, among others. We're using this program to enable at least you can be in a position to get simple calculation. Add another form, add form. Uh, open and now with this now I can just close that one and now I click here I add my form up to the level I want in case you want to increase the size just increase a little bit uh, towards the downward and now you can see this form here I can just come here right and with this label here I can come here I put how to uh, calculate um, area and volume of a sphere. You can come here, uh, you put the color that you want, for example, period there, and you put blue, uh, you can put red, and you can put yellow, depending the the one you want. And you can put your desired color for this. In case you want to increase the size still, uh, you go for the content, you can come here, you put for example, I need white, or I need a different color, for example, uh, the one I need, for example, that one, but you can see it's not appearing well, I can just put blue, and in that one I can still go on and I change, for example, you can go to font, click this and here, and you try to increase a little bit size, you put bold, and you can change a different font. For example, we have this variety of fonts. You can just come here, I put that one, or for example, a different font, for example, that one, I put OK. You can see how to calculate area and volume of a sphere. Let me now work with that one. You need to come here to click shapes and this one you can just draw a shape like that one then under rectangle here shapes choose oval and you turn out oval uh, with that one now I need to come here right click copy right click paste to get this information just click yes Automatically now you see I have now another shape which look like the, that one you can just come here and I put a little bit smaller size in that kind of a way. Then I do uh, copy and I do paste. And then I can still come here and I try to do a bit of small size so that once you have put 
the mole size here you can see that uh, now you can try to resize a little bit and you end up getting a good shape for sphere either you draw in a very simpler way you end up getting uh, the shape you want uh, using visual basic program just draw until you see it is of your desired size of your want uh, without no problem see that one now look a little bit like a sphere do like that one now you can come here you put uh, the constant which is now radius so it means for this one you can come here you put enter enter radius enter radius now once you put enter radius there uh, you can come here I do the text box for that one and the radius and now here you can come give you remove that one and here and you come you type txt uh, we have radius and uh, then we have now the, the calculation here you can come here you calculate now area and you have uh, you draw a command button there and you put the text box for this too you can have these two of them there whereby now this one can be LBL uh, area and now you can put area and then you have this one Uh, we have LBL volume and now we have uh, volume and we have peasants whereby now you put the uh, text for txt uh, volume and now you put the other one here which is now txt uh, txt volume and this one should be you see this kind of information because there is another one which we had a mistake for area it means we need to put no and now come here change this one to be a uh, txt uh, area and then click there and now change that one to be volume either we should make some corrections in case you made a mistake and you scroll there down to remove that one and put space without uh, to be blank command button can be cmd uh, calculate uh, we have cal uh, for this one you need to put calculator sphere and you can just come and put cmd and calculate 
sphere. Once we put that one now, uh, with those information now there, you can come here. In case you put, uh, want to put the back color here, you can come here. You put, for example, green. Uh, this one can be a different color. For example, you can put uh, yellow. Now this one you can put uh, cyan. With those one now, you can come here. You can see now our sphere, we have the entire radius, we have the area and we have volume. Just come here, you calculate sphere. And in this case, you can come, you write DIM uh, radius uh, single, you put area uh, single, uh, volume uh, single, enter, and we have. Uh, we have now radius is equals variable open bracket txt uh, radius dot text and you close the bracket enter uh, when you are calculating require pi so it means pi it is a constant you just put const uh, pi is equals uh, the uh, fourteen point four, or you can just put uh, you can put uh, twenty two divided by seven. Twenty two divided by seven for pi twenty two over seven. Then you press enter. Now you can come. You put area over sphere can be area over sphere can be. Uh, can be uh, we have uh, four can put four pi uh, multiply by uh, radius squared four pi squared you need to come here put the sign shift plus six to get the sign in your keyboard and you press enter then uh, you need to come here put txt area dot text is equals area volume is equals uh, 4 divided by 3 multiplied by pi uh, multiplied by uh, radius cubed then you press enter txt volume dot text is equals volume now you are through with your programming very simply you get these are the most crucial coding you require to program for how for how to create area and volume of a sphere you need to have these codings back in your mind and you get how you can calculate area and volume of a sphere bear in mind constant pi uh, you should put a uh, constant pi 22 over 7 or 3.14 depending with how you need because that one is a formula and you require to, to use it in part of your calculations now you can just come across there you go back here but still you click query uh, you click run you see now it is giving now the second one and i need now that form here as for this one uh bear in mind that you still need to come here you give your form a name that is a uh, sphere uh, you need to come here uh, i put uh, calculating a uh, sphere creating a uh, sphere uh, Creating area and a volume of calculating the the area and volume of a sphere. Uh, then I need to come here. I put FRM uh, sphere. Then from there you can come here. 
correct run you can see it is only giving this we have this three form calculate formatter sphere by giving the second one i click i learn the same project project properties you come to this startup object here you click uh, now you need sphere and i click ok from there and come i click run i'm a start in this case you can just click start now you can see this the castle is still here in enter radius i need to put my radius as 3.5 for example and now i can click calculate you can see it's calculated for me we have the area of a sphere and we have the volume of a sphere in this case you can have this one you can see the moment you change this one to be five you calculate to give you different figures put when sphere is uh, the 13.7 you can see it will give you different figures for area and for volume of a sphere that is how you calculate um and this is how you, cal you, you calculate area and volume of a sphere in a very simple way and that's how you can program using visual basic that is the first introduction side of it you can have three simple uh, forms you can uh, you can program and we're gonna show you how to calculate more and more forms some of them they might be seem complicated but they are simple as you follow the instruction to the letter let me show you how to save now your project you need to come here you can click the save project here uh, once you click save project here then you can come here uh, in this uh, saving you can choose where you want to save your file for example i can choose local disk c and i create a folder here once you create a folder here now you can come here for example uh, we have such a uh, courage uh, uh, pro uh, we have software pro 2017 i can get my folder like that one then i click open once i click open my folder there as you can see now my folder there I can click save 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 then I, once i come to project i can come here i give my project uh, s c s uh, pro 2017 that is such a courage uh, software pro 2017 i can just save with that simple terms for that one initial then i click save in case you get this add this project to source uh, to source save you can just click no and now that is how you save your project and now you can see the project name here it is scs it is a scs pro 2017 vbp which is the extension for all file created in microsoft visual basic project projects that's how and continue subscribing for more uh, tutorials in our tutorial downloads on youtube and in our social media tutorial uh, tutorial kenya to get more educated and more knowledge about how to do various uh, 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 things in a uh, various projects using microsoft visual basic and learning more about information and communication technology courses in a very simpler way and free feel free to download our tutorials and comment more about them thank you